Did you know you can use the Excel Inquire add-in to compare the differences between two spreadsheets? And it provides a whole bunch of other information. Let's take a look. Sometimes you need to compare one spreadsheet to another and see if there's differences between the two. A great tool to be able to do this is the Inquire add-in. You can access it by going up to File, Options, Add-ins, and at the bottom, select COM add-ins from this list and hit Go. Here there's a check mark next to Inquire, so check that and hit OK. And now you'll have this Inquire tab available on your Excel menu. Now what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet of sample data. I made a few changes and I saved it out as another modified spreadsheet. And I can go up here to View and see that I have both of those files loaded into Excel at the same time and I can switch between them. In order to do a comparison between those two spreadsheets, I can go to the Inquire tab and click Compare Files, and it brings up the two files I have loaded in Excel, and I can compare one to the other. Click this Compare button, and it brings up this comparison window. You can see the two spreadsheets right here side by side, and the green highlights are the areas where there are changes between those two spreadsheets. You can scroll down through each and look at different areas if you need to. But you also have a list right here of all the cells that have changes and it shows the value of the old and the new so you can see the differences. When you click on one, it actually brings it up in the list so you can see where those values are. While you're in this window, you can move these bars around, slide open areas if you wanna see things a little bit better. And if you click on one of these sheets, you can resize the cells to fit. You'll also notice over here, there are several different areas of data that you can check for. So you could turn on and off these different checkbox, depending on what you're trying to compare between the two spreadsheets. You also have a few options up here on the menu, showing details, show just formulas. You can also export the results out to an Excel spreadsheet, and you can copy the results to the clipboard. So let's try this one. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste those results into Notepad so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, it shows each one of the spreadsheets, the cell location, and the old and new values. This could be helpful if you want to send somebody a note just telling them here's the values that changed from the old to the new spreadsheet. We'll go ahead and close these windows. And going back to the Inquire tab, not only can you compare files, but there's some other options here as well, like the worksheet relationship. And as you can see down here at the bottom, I have a sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. So if I look at the relationship, it shows a visual graph of the main spreadsheet and how it relates to the individual worksheets. You can also do a comparison of the actual workbook relationships if you have a bunch of links between different sheets. And another wealth of information can be found by clicking on this workbook analysis. Here you have a list of all the different categories of workbook, data links, formulas, cells, ranges, warnings. So there's all kinds of information that you can zero in on about your spreadsheet. Let's take a look at the visible sheets and it shows sheet one, two, and three in there. If you take a look at textual constants. That shows all the data values that have been entered into the different cells and the numeric values in their cells as well. So there's tons of information that you can look for in this analysis report to help you work with different formulas or different cell locations in your spreadsheet. And again, this information can be exported out to Excel so you can share it with someone else. Another nice feature in the Inquire tab is the clean excess cell formatting. When you click this option, it asks you if you want to do the active sheet or all sheets. I'll do it for the active sheet, hit OK. And it asks if you want to save your clean sheet, I'll say yes. What that does is it cleans excess formatting by removing cells from the worksheet that are beyond your data element area. So if you do conditional formatting or some other kind of cell formatting across a wide area of data, but your data only accesses up to a certain point, everything outside of that where you've formatted the cells will get cleared out. This can help reduce the amount of data you have in your file, reduce the file size and the speed of your Excel worksheet as it does calculations. 
There's also an option here for workbook passwords and that brings up a list of passwords for your spreadsheets that you want to analyze using the Inquire tab. What you can do here is you can add any password that you've set on a particular spreadsheet file and when the Inquire tab tries to open that for comparing files or other functions over here on the menu, it will use this password to open those files. The nice thing is this data is stored and encrypted so nobody can have access to it other than you. The Inquire add-in is not available in every version of Excel, but it goes back quite a while. So if we come back into Options, Add-ins, and go down to Com Add-ins, hit Go, you'll see this Inquire checkbox here if you have a valid version of Excel that contains that add-in. It works in 2013 and newer versions of Excel. So if you have Excel for Microsoft 365, Excel 2019, Excel 2016, or Excel 2013, you'll be able to use the Inquire add-in. So if you're in need of doing some analysis on the data elements in your worksheets or to do a comparison between one worksheet and another, make sure to check out the Inquire add-in. And while you're at it, wait to the end of this video or look in the description of this video to find links to other great Excel training videos on Sealy Training. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.